Diana, and uh, I'm from Memory Bound in Ankeny, Iowa. I'm going to be doing a Technique Tuesday today. Um, Halloween is fast approaching, so we kind of want to get some of our cards made so we can get them out on time. And that's the bokeh method. You have the dots in the background and kind of the faded out backgrounds. And it's a fun and fast technique. First of all, you just need a, a mat of some sort that you're gonna use um, cardstock. And I would use white or natural. We're gonna use natural today. You will need two or three different colors of ink. Now I've got actually five laid out here, but I'm only gonna pick three of them to use today. And I'm gonna pick Halloween colors. Uh, if you were doing this for Christmas, you could have a red and a green um, to go along with that. And then you will also need a white. And that's what you're gonna make your dots with here later on. I always like orange and green and yellow. So we'll pick those three. If you're using purple, you always have to remember that it's across the, the color aisle from your orange and your yellow and it will muddy up if you mix them too much. So you just wanna bump up against them if you're using something like a purple. You need your blending tool for this and one, one for each color or at least a sponge for each color. And we're just going to put dabs of these colors in various places on our card. You can make them as dark or as light as you want. You can go back over them here after you get all your colors on and make sure they're like you want. We'll add a little orange. So we're getting our three colors on. You do want to cover the whole surface. Bokeh actually is a photography term. It's backgrounds so that you started it using this kind of a background with these dots in the back. Now we do need to make a uh, stencil with our dots on them. And I usually use three different size uh, punches if you have them, or you can just use two. I have a one inch, a three fourths inch, and a half inch here. And you just simply take another piece of cardstock and just make your own. Just punch them out randomly. Keep this stencil. As you see, I've used this in several times. So you can put this down. Now for putting our dots on, um, I usually use a finger cot, these little finger cots, which I really, uh, I love these. I do a lot of my inking with finger cots. You wanna use a white, a really bright white, and I really like the Colorbox brand. Um, that's one of the brightest whites uh, that I have found for The this. other thing is, you can just put white dots on, as I have on this one, just the white and bring out the white, or you can, mix the dots and you can put all the different colors on that you have just used on your we're just going to do white on this one try to use one corner of your ink pad because you are going to pick up ink off of off of your card and you just go around and use your stencil and you just color in your circles color some of them dark and some of them lighter because the darker ones come forward and look like they're floating off the page. lighter ones look like they're drifting to the back and then when you get that much done, just move your stencil around. And oh, you can overlap your circles. That always looks good. Just keep doing this until you get your, as many dots as you want on here. And it's as simple as that. That is your bokeh background. Uh, then I have on all my cards here, have cut out a black mat to go around it. These cats are a stamp that we uh, have had in. I stamp this on or cut them out with uh, a die. And some of these are, there's a lot, a lot of dies out there that you can make silhouette type cards with. Or put a word on them. Um, or you can even put a cut apart or something like that uh, on them matted. And so that's our, our card idea for today. And I hope you have fun with this. And for those of you who have done it before, I hope it brought back some uh, good memories and you can do a few for Halloween and maybe even Christmas. Thank you.